just want to take a few minutes here to demonstrate a prototype that Syed and myself have been, have been building for Visual Studio for um, to make it easy uh, to build Google Chrome extensions. And um, here's how it works. Let's create a new project. So you see here we now have a Google Chrome extension. I'm gonna call call it Kittens. Let's say OK. And you can see here we now have our extension. So this is the project. Everything in the Google Chrome extension that is the actual extension itself that's going to be um, ready to send to the uh, Google Web Store is inside the app folder right here. Um, what we have in the other folders are sort of um, to help us out screenshots and where we keep some help scripts for IntelliSense and so on. And then we have index HTM. And the reason why we have an index here is for you to very easily be able to debug your Chrome extension. Uh, we'll get back to that, but first we have to do one more thing, and that is to put Google Chrome in developer mode. So let's open Google Chrome, go to extensions, and um, click developer mode here. So now we're going to load our extension into Chrome in developer mode. And to do that, we click the load on packaged extensions. And then it's just a matter of finding our project here. What did I call it? Kittens. And then point to the app folder. And here we go. That's all we need. We can close down this guy again. So um, now we're pointing to the app folder and this is where we have the actual extension. So let's run the app, but first let's make sure that you have Google Chrome selected as your browser. And now we can just hit Control F5. And we can see now we're running. It opens the index.htm file here. We have a link to the getting started guide. And we can see that we also loaded the extension. And basically all it does is that it goes to Flickr and selects some photos of cats and that's it. So now we have a working extension. Um, and let's just build this guy. Like that. And if we go take a look at what we actually get in the bin folder here when we build, you see that we get a zip file. We don't get a DLL file, we get a zip file. So uh, the project template has modified the way that uh, the build step works and it's producing a zip file that works with the uh, Google Chrome Web Store. So this is the zip file that we just upload to the Chrome Web Store and this makes it very easy for us to, to deploy, our, deploy our extension to Chrome. So let's take a look at one more thing here I want to show you and that is that we have full IntelliSense for the entire Chrome object model in JavaScript so a Chrome extension is built just through JavaScript and HTML and everything is kind of controlled through JavaScript the way you communicate to the browser API's and so on and as you can see here the Chrome object, uh, we do get full IntelliSense for that. So that should make it very, very easy to uh, get started. But we do have as well, if we run it again, we can see here we do have a link to the getting started guide. And the project template itself is the exact same uh, example. So when you just say file new project and we show the kittens, that's the exact same examples as you have in the uh, getting started guy, uh, guide on Google Chrome. So um, this should make it very, very easy for you to get started. Thank you.